Out of all the bosses in the DLC, Sheriff Winchester is one of my favorites overall. She's a super fun airplane fight that has tons of craziness everywhere, but if you're not great at airplane levels, this boss can definitely be a challenge. Before we start, remember that this is a day one guide. I'm literally making this video three hours after the game comes out, so there's probably lots of new strategies that have been discovered. If you have any tips on how to beat her that I missed, please let me know in the comments below. For all of these guides, I'm going to be playing with Miss Chalice because she's overpowered as heck, and her weapons are fantastic, especially on this airplane level. Her first phase is similar to Calamaria, except way more difficult. Let's break it down piece by piece. If you can, try to stick to the middle of the screen with your triple bullets so all three are hitting her at once. If she's ever near the bottom of the screen, you can use your bomb weapons as well to nail her in the head. Her main attack is with the double snake oil pistol. They're kind of like the roundabout in that they shoot forwards then curl back, but they'll also come forward one more time. What you want to do is stay near the left side of the screen while staying level with the sheriff's head wherever she is. This should put you in between the two bullets. Her other attack is a massive lasso. She'll throw her rope to the left, which can hurt you, and then yank a massive cactus to the right. The best way to dodge this is to move all the way to the top or bottom of the screen away from the lasso as soon as she starts throwing it. The cactus comes out faster than you'd expect and if you wait too long to react you're gonna get hit. At the same time there are also two different minions shooting garbage at you. The first one is this the, oh, it's a horse fly, like a fly in a horse. Got it. So he'll slowly fly to the left side of the map and then spit out a small cactus at your current position. It's very hard to see, so always keep an eye out for him. Note that you can shoot the horse fly down before he fires his projectile if you're fast enough. The next minion is the Vulture, who drops a bundle of TNT on the ground. The explosion will come in two waves, first like this, and then immediately like this. So individually these attacks are easy, but when you put them all together, it's a lot to handle, right? Generally speaking, I like to stay near the top middle or top back of the screen to minimize the threat from the vulture whilst trying to stay level with her snake oil gunshots. Just be ready to move instantly when she pulls out the rope. It's not easy, but it just takes a bit of practice. Okay, next phase. She'll pull out her magical cowboy vacuum cleaner thing and start sucking in items. You'll also get pulled towards her as well, but it's not that bad. Like before, try to stay near the center of the screen so all of your bullets hit her. After a few seconds of this, she'll turn her vacuum cleaner into like a mouth gun, I guess, uh, and start shooting vaults into the air. The vaults will fall on the ground and when they hit, they'll shoot a projectile at you that's locked on your current position, similar to the horsefly. Meanwhile, their mouth gun is also shooting coins out like a fountain that make the right side of the screen a little more dangerous. Try your best to stay near the left side of the screen to minimize the chances of you being hit by one of these random coins. If you have your super ready, try to use it when you're being sucked in by the vacuum cleaner. Next phase, she gets turned into a sausage, because of course she does. Uh, this is actually pretty easy. The bean cans will extend a short line of beans in the direction they're facing as they approach the left side of the screen. She'll also be shooting meat that follows a circular orbit, similar to the projectiles in Shootin' and Loot. Just steer clear of the stake and the beans while staying level with her, and this phase is the easiest of the fight. Finally, she literally becomes a can of beef sausages. If you have your super, it's the perfect time to blast her when she's transforming uh, because there won't be any projectiles out. So the trick here is that there are two sausage strings moving back and forth, and you want to travel in between the gaps while dodging all the bell peppers. I like to try and plan ahead to find an upcoming gap and then shrink down and squeeze through when it's safe. Don't be afraid to move forwards or back to find the gap. There are plenty of pink projectiles in this phase as well, so you may be able to get one more super off if you're being aggressive. With that, Sheriff Winchester is down. Definitely one of the best bosses in the DLC. I hope this video helped.